think you're too old to sing? No way. Think you're too old to start? No. Take it from me, I am a proud senior citizen and singing keeps me young, healthy, and having fun. I have trained tons of singers all the way through their late 80s, sing beautifully, and I can do the same for you. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 31 years of teaching voice, 43 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always make vocal technique simple and fun. Today, I will give you my six tips for singing as we age, and I will include some personal stories. You're never too old to sing, and you're never too old to start. However, I'm not going to beat around the bush. We need to be realistic about our expectations. The body changes as we age, our hair and skin change as we age. Well, the same is true with our singing voice. And some people think that's a negative. Now, why do changes in the voice have to be a bad thing? I am not some 20 year old giving you advice. I am a proud senior citizen and my voice has gone through many changes over the years, but I'm happy to say that I am happier with where my voice is today than I was in my 20s, 30s, even 40s. Yes, I've lost some of the extreme high notes like I used to have. I used to kill for high C, C6, all the way up to high F, but my voice is richer and fuller today. I couldn't sing the way I sing today when I was in my 20s. If you want to hear me sing in styles ranging from classical to pop, as well as some of my students, I will include the link to my performance playlist below. Tip number one, have realistic expectations. Accept and nurture your voice where it is today. If you're constantly living in the, ooh, but, ooh, but I'm too old, or ooh, but I'm starting too late, you're just holding yourself back setting yourself up for more unhappiness and robbing you of the number one reason we sing. We do it for ourselves. That's right. Beyond all of the technique and all of the performances and all of the study, we sing because it makes us feel good. And that's my big tip number two. We sing because it brings us joy today. We sing for ourselves beyond everything else. Tip number three, singing is fun at any age. You know how you hear a song and it brings back all these memories and then before you know it, you feel like you've gone back in time. I swear, when I hear 60s Motown, I get transported back to my little bedroom in my parents' house where, yes, I studied classical voice, but in my bedroom, I was rocking out to soul and R&B and pop, and I was pretty cool. Singing allows you to have that kind of fun and freedom at any age. Story time. I had a student, a dramatic tenor, who started with me at age 67, never having studied before. He had a very good voice, but it was extremely rough around the edges. And he said he was going to give it his all for 10 years. So we worked really hard. At age 75, he started competing in um, regional competitions. At 75, he won honorable mention. At 76, he did it again, and he won third place. At age 77, he did it again, and he won second place. And he said to me, you know what? Second place, I'm happy with that. I said I would give it my 10 years. He was able to scratch that off of his bucket list. And if he's watching this video, he will know exactly that I'm talking about him. I had another dear student who took a 25 year hiatus from singing. When she got back into it, she wanted to get back into performing in shows. So at age 78, she was out there singing, dancing, and acting 
in local theaters. I've had many seniors in their 70s, 80s, whose goals are simply to sing in the senior choir or to sing for their family. I love and respect all of these goals. Everyone deserves to sing. We sing because we love it, regardless of age. Fourth big tip, singing keeps you young, healthy, and positive. I cannot even begin to tell you how many students sometimes come into their lessons, oh, I'm really tired. I don't think I can sing today. I don't have any energy. And at the end of the lesson, they're just bubbling full of energy because they've gotten their second wind from singing. Sometimes they say it's their therapy. You know, singing gives us the same kind of high, the same kind of endorphins that we get when we exercise. You know, I did have one client who had a stroke and became partially paralyzed and left her very depressed. You know what her doctor told her? He told her to get back into her singing lessons as soon as possible. We resumed lessons and it rekindled her joy. Tip number five, go at your own pace. Remember, you're never too old to sing and you're never too old to start. So what's the big rush? Listen to your body and train at your own pace. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. And to me, that's the best part of aging. I get lots of comments from people who say they can no longer produce a clear tone, their voice sounds croaky or weak. Well, remember, we're always working on strength training. So if you're just starting or coming back after a long hiatus, make sure that you follow my beginner playlist and I will include the link below. I have lots of exercises like humming, lip trills, and other strength and endurance building exercises. We always need to practice to maintain consistency, strength, and maintain muscle tone, just like the rest of your body. Tip number six, have your own personal identity as a singer. You don't have to prove yourself. You can just be happy being yourself. I know maybe this sounds like a little bit of pep talk, but it's true. I don't have to sing riffs like Mariah Carey or sing the old lyric coloratura arias that I used to sing. I'm not 20 years old anymore. I have the right to sing a song in any key I want to show off my voice, and so do you. Every voice is unique, so have your own personal identity and not compare yourself to anyone else. Watch my videos on how to find your own true and unique voice. Now, if you have not yet ordered my audio training program, Victoria's Victorious Vocal Exercise Program, I highly recommend that you do. It's super affordable, tons of exercises for every need, whether you're a beginner or advanced. And I offer regular group classes to members. See the link. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. You're never too old to sing and you're never too old to start. Nurture your voice wherever you are right now and have fun with your singing. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and you're never too old to sing and you will never be too old to enjoy it. I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.